Hi, everyone. This is Dr. Palacios, and I'm here to bring another question and answer regarding migraines. Now, today's question is going to be, what is a serious migraine called? Now, keep in mind that there are many kinds of migraines. You have your regular classical migraine, and then you have other migraines according to their origin and symptoms. For example, you may have abdominal migraines, which is common in children. And their discomfort actually happens in their abdomen, hence abdominal migraine. So to approach this question, what is a serious type of migraine? We need to understand what serious means. So we've talked about in a classical migraine scenario that the timing happens to be between four to 72 hours. So that's the average time for a person to suffer a migraine episode. And typically it's about 24 hours on average. Now, for a status migranosis, which is the name of this type of serious migraine, is going to last 72 hours or longer than that. Now, that can be serious because first, it's going to be an extensive period of pain. Imagine it's more than 72 hours, which is three full days already with this pain. And the other things that can be more complicated is if you have nausea and vomiting and sometimes even lose appetite. So if you have vomiting, you're losing electrolytes, you're losing fluids. And if you're having a migraine that lasts 72 hours or more, you are probably losing more fluids than you should. So you're gonna need to be hydrated, not just by drinking fluids back, but possibly through getting hospitalized. So if you notice that your migraines are in that, it's getting to that stage of more than 72 hours, it's advisable to go to the hospital and get the proper treatment so you can get the medications that can lower the threshold of the pain. And in addition, they could also check your blood work to see if you have any low levels of electrolytes. So I hope now you understand what is a serious migraine complication call, how is it serious, and what do you need to do once it gets to a point where you can't tolerate it anymore, whether it's working or not with medicines. It's important to let the hospital know if you are coming in for a migraine that's more than 72 hours. So I hope this video was helpful. I hope you learned a little bit more about migraines and I'll see you around. Thank you so much. And if you'd like to work together and address the root causes of your migraines, please click on my bio link below. And we can also find alternative ways to your migraines and other conditions as well. And it's all at the comfort of your home. Thank you so much and have a great rest of your day.